Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we are doing, again, the best bets you should make for UFC on ESPN, Lewis versus Nascimento. Now there's some really, really good ones in here. First, we're going to do some safer ones for sure to make sure, you know, if you, if you put them on there, put money on it, it's going to probably hit. Obviously, MMA is very unpredictable, at least unpredictable in some aspects you know um but for the most and then after that we're going to do a little bit riskier ones but if they hit it's going to be really really good so first we're going to start off with the early picks obviously um and if you don't know how underdog fantasy works if you make five bets and you do standard it's the whole multiplier you have to hit all of them multiplier if you hit all of them it's a big payout you could do a flex one to where you could miss one um, and, and hit four of them and still get paid, but it's a little bit less. You could do hit five of them, but because you put it on the flex one, it will still be a little less even if you hit five. So if you're very confident on it, put it on standard just because you'll hit more. But if you're a little weary about it, put it on flex. That way you can hit no matter what, as long as you miss one, if, if you miss one. So either way, this is going to be a very good video, I believe. Hopefully, probably not. But uh, yeah, Kevin Jossett, uh, 64 and a half significant strikes. I don't like that at all, to be honest. I I think Jared Gooden wins this fight just because I don't like Jossett's. I think he uh, his head movement isn't very good. People are very surprised on that pick that I, I picked Jared Gooden. It's not that I think Jared Gooden is a better fighter than Jossett, but I think Jared Gooden has that X factor of stupid knockout power. And because he keeps his hands a little bit low, or a lot of bit low to the side, I think he can hit Jossett where Jossett can't really necessarily hit him. Um, I do think if Jossett wins, it's probably by a submission, to be honest, or a decision, just because of Jossett's not really going to want to uh, play that striking game with uh, Jared Gooden. But not really focusing on that. Jake Hadley, 47 and a half significant strikes. Uh, this this one is a, is a very decent bet because just because I think that fight's going to go three rounds. But I don't necessarily know on that so that's also not one i'm really gonna pick so next is uh let's look around here waldo acosta da, 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 caceres Vieira, oberg you gotta get some more pickle okay so tabitha richie 14 minutes and 99 fight minutes of fight time basically it's gonna go three rounds with uh, uh pennington probably is Personally, I, I would probably do that it's going to go to a decision. That's 14 minutes and 99 uh, seconds. Basically, again, to go the distance, which is just about one multiplier. You maybe could do a knockout or submission. I don't think she does any of those things. Maybe a submission is probably your best bet. But again, I don't think she does. She submits, submits uh, Pennington. Uh, goes the distance, probably. So there's that. Uh, uh, Estevan Ribovic's four-minute fight time, a finish, 25 and a half significant strikes. Uh, uh, you know, knockout is uh, just over one times multiplier. I actually think a a uh, knockout or 25 and a half significant strikes, four-minute fight time. I definitely, definitely can see this fight going past that first round. And if it doesn't, it's going to be on the favor of Terrence McKinney. So I'm going to go 20, 25 and a half significant strikes. And then next, we got Trey Waters fighting uh, 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 J uh, Jeff. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Why am I blinking on his name? Uh, I can't remember his, his first name, but yeah. Um. 59 and a half significant strikes. I don't think it's going to be that many strikes. Nine and a half minutes of fight time. That's that's a little little scary because yes, uh, Jeff or Golf has uh, some some power. I think Waters is the more dynamic striker. I think he's a little bit of a more um, well-rounded striker. Uh, and Jeff uh, Golf, Jesus, has uh, takedowns. He's a decent takedown guy. I don't think he's a great. Uh, has great takedowns, but I'm actually going to go uh, uh, higher than uh, nine and a half minutes of fight time. So it's basically one and a half, uh, you know, one and a half uh, rounds. Yeah. Um, and then next is, oh, okay. 
<clears throat> so, um, uh, Borshev. So yeah, Borshev, not to get a knockout. Um, I don't necessarily okay. So higher than 